Okay, this is a Scott Airpack X3 Pro self-contained breathing apparatus. Its usage to protect users from high heat, smoke, toxic gases, and deficiency in atmospheric oxygen. Specifications, back frame and harness assembly. The solid lightweight one piece polycarbonate back frame. There's a bracket for mounting the pressure reducer and sensor module. It will allow for a connection to 30, 45, or 60 minute cylinders, but a 45 minute bottle will be used. It's made of heavy braided webbing with no screws or bolts. There's a parachute type, quick release buckles for adjusting fit. There's a double locking latch and Kevlar retention strap to hold the cylinder in place. It has a single hand release seat belt type waist attachment. The regulator keeper is on the waist strap. This is the pouch which secures the dual emergency breathing support system or EBSS hose and connection. This is the battery holder that carries six AA batteries. To open, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew. It incorporates a snap change cylinder connection. So unlatch the double locking latch and Kevlar retention strap. Release the D-rings and pull the cylinder out. And finally, the drag rescue loop or DRL is located at the top of the back frame. Next is the air cylinder and valve assembly. It's a lightweight composite cylinder made of an aluminum alloy inner shell with a total overwrap of carbon fiber fiberglass and an epoxy resin. It has 45 and 60 minute durations. It's 99.9% .9 certified grade D breathable air. It's got a working pressure of 4,500 PSI, a cylinder rupture pressure of 13,500 PSI, frangible disperse pressure of 7,500 PSI. This is its quick connect fitting and a dual window pressure gauge with elastomeric bumper. It has a ratchet cylinder valve hand wheel, on counterclockwise, off push in and clockwise. On the side of the cylinder, you'll find the tank information. You'll find the DOT number, date of last hydro test, the manufacturer date, and the serial number. This is the sensor module assembly. It alerts of a downed firefighter. Activation, green flashing LED lights with an activation chirp. Pre-alarm, motionless for 20 seconds, red flashing LEDs, to reset, move the BA or press the yellow reset button on side of control console. Full alarm, 10 to 12 seconds after pre-alarm with red flashing LED lights. To reset, you press the yellow button twice on the side of the control console. To turn it off, bleed air from the system, press the yellow reset button on side of control console twice and listen for confirmation of deactivation chirp. If there's a low battery, you have orange flashing LED lights accompanied by a chirp every two seconds. The remote gauge assembly, it's a mechanical gauge reads within 250 PSI of the primary cylinder gauge. It measures empty at 10, 20, 30, and full. Red equals one third cylinder, green equals full cylinder. Red button is the manual alarm. It will work even when system's not pressurized, as long as batteries are in good condition. Yellow button push twice to reset. Mass mounted regulator assembly, supplies and maintains air to the face piece. It's attached to a low pressure hose. It's positive pressure and the regulator starts upon inhalation. The red purge valve allows air to bypass if regulator fails, defogs the mass via the spray bar. The regulator houses the vibe alert. Do not flush or submerge the regulator in water. The face piece assembly. It's a Kevlar head harness with flame resistant straps, has a high temperature polycarbonate lens with abrasion resistant and anti-fog coatings. Fit test. It's performed yearly by personnel at Station 36. 
to clean it. Use mild soap and water. Disinfect with a hypochlorite solution or two tablespoons of bleach and one gallon of water. The visual heads up display. It keeps users informed of air and battery status. Full, two green steady LED lights, three quarters, one green steady LED light. Half, one yellow, flashing LED light flashes one time per second. One third, one red, flashing LED light flashes 10 times a second. Low battery, round LED on right side will light for 20 seconds and then flash one time per second until batteries are changed. The dual EBSS buddy breathing hose it allows users to connect to another user without having to disconnect the regulator supply hose. It allows the users to maneuver up to five feet apart and store it on their waist mount on the harness. The RIC slash universal air connection or UAC. It allows for air to be supplied to a downed or trapped firefighter. It's located on the firefighter's left side of the pressure reducing housing block left for life. Not to be mistaken for the CGA fill port on cylinders. It's for emergency use only. It works with RIC bags on trucks, rescues, and USAR. Always keep the fitting covered.